I was so excited to be able to walk the red carpet for the premiere of my film, The One Three, at the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival. You were with me when I planned what I would do with my makeup, and when I planned what I'd do with my hair, I borrowed the dress, but ran into a little snag with the shoes. This is a little frightening. These are the shoes that I plan on wearing Saturday night. And everything has come unstuck. It is not supposed to be like this. It is supposed to all be one smooth layer, each thing. So I have a little project ahead of me. There's going to be, wow, look at that. I have to glue all of these today. Yikes. So my shoes that have fallen apart, these are all supposed to be welded together on these straps and they have come apart. So what I am doing is I am using flexible, stretchable fabric glue, simply because I happen to have it. And I am using a paintbrush and I am painting it I'm painting a layer of glue on this layer and a layer of glue on this layer and then I squeeze them shut and clip them and let them hold with the binder clips <clears throat> and believe it or not it seems to be working I think I may be able to save these pair of shoes and get one more night out of them <laughs> It was quite a project, and boy, were my hands sore from all of those binder clips. But uh, it took me a day of working on it, but I fixed them. They got fixed. This is on the train to San Diego. Uh, not having a car, that always kind of presents an issue traveling places. Uh, but the drive to San Diego is notoriously miserable. It often takes about four hours from Los Angeles. And it takes less time than that on the train, and all I have to do is sit there and look out the window at pretty scenery for most of it. So it's a very, very pleasant way to travel. If you're ever in California, I totally encourage you to jump on the Amtrak and take the Surfliner and, you know, go from San Diego up to San Luis Obispo or... You know, it's just a terrific way to travel and really look at the scenery and not have a lot of stress with driving. Uh, didn't have to show up two hours before. I literally got there five minutes before, jumped on the train, boom, done. Arrived in San Diego, beautiful sunny day. Any woman who has ever tried to get ready for an event in a hotel bathroom knows the frustration of dealing with that terrible dim light that you can't ever really see anything and you don't really know what you're doing. It's almost like doing makeup by braille. So this is why it is so important to play dress up, to experiment with the hair and makeup when it doesn't matter so that on the day you can get it done even when you can't see anything because you know the right colors, you know the right shades, you know that you need to blend more than is your natural habit. Uh, so that's why it's very important to, to play and to play dress up so that when the time comes, you can bust out that look uh, without too much stress. I was feeling very frustrated with the lighting in here, getting ready, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this get ready with me short because I realized that when you're traveling with another person, they may also need to get into that bathroom to get ready. And I just didn't really think this was the right place to be sharing uh, a naked man in that shower behind me. So here is part of my getting ready and you will see the full results at the end. If you want to see detail on everything that I did here, it's in my video, uh, classic sophisticated makeup for the mature face. I did add a little bit more eyeliner underneath. I went a bit more of a smoky eye, 
Uh, generally, I would not recommend doing a uh, dark smoky eye and red lips, but a red carpet event is very different from real life because I'm going to be photographed from a great distance and it just needs to be very strong and very dramatic makeup, not at all what you would do for real life. Here I am at the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival, and you can see it is quite a scene. I can only imagine the chaos and intensity that goes on at a red carpet event at, say, the Academy Awards, or the Emmys, or a Cannes Film Festival. The pressure that everyone must be under. But of course, these are people in a whole different uh, financial position than I am. This is a, we had to congregate our group together. This is a sort of, sort of meeting together. When we walk the red carpet, we do it as a group. Uh, when you see the Academy Awards, these are big stars, big important people. Everyone knows who they are. So they can walk down the red carpet and, and people applaud. and. Well, you know, when I walk down the red carpet, nobody knows who the heck I am, and the same with the rest of us on the film. So we sort of gather together as a pack, you know, everybody, the cast and crew of the film who is involved, and we get our group together, and then we will walk down the red carpet together. This is me with the director, Robert E. Ball Jr., and check out those shoes! They held together perfectly. Super pleased about that. So we had a very large group. Uh, I think there were about 18 people in our group. And because none of these photographers know who the heck we are, we all kind of scribble our name down on a whiteboard. And the first thing we do is all congregate as a group. And all the photographers photograph that whiteboard so they all know our names and the correct spelling. And that way, when they deal with all of their different media and they try to name people, they can put the, hopefully, right names and faces together. I honestly have no idea how in the world they do that. These, these events are just, they're crazy. They're bedlam. I think that uh, it's got to be interesting when you're in that upper echelon and you've got somebody who dresses you and somebody who does your shoes and somebody who does your hair and somebody who does your makeup and the car that arrives and picks you up and drops you off right in front so you don't have to deal with parking. Uh, <laughs> it must be a very, very different sort of event and... Uh, Hopefully one day I will be lucky enough to attend an event like that. But in the meantime, I am just tickled to be able to attend an event like this. And it's just so fun as a woman to be able to put on a slinky dress, even though it's borrowed. Thank you, Nancy. Love you forever. And uh, put on hair. Thank you, Byron. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. Love you forever. Uh, look at all these fake things that I have on. Uh, well, I guess nothing's fake except the hair. Uh, well, the, the, the legs, they're not nearly that tan. That's all makeup. <laughs> and it's a very awkward sort of thing. I, I can't really share all the sounds with you because, well, it's, it's really noisy. And you can see I'm feeling awkward and uncomfortable in the back and don't really know what to do with myself. But, hey, just stand there and smile and look good because... Really, that's all that anyone expects of you. So, 
Um, it's a very shallow sort of thing, but what the heck? Why not be shallow once in a while? Don't we have enough heavy stuff in life? The clothes were really amazing. Have and fun once in a while. I'm a little disappointed that uh, the person who helped me photograph this did not show more of the exciting fashion that was there because there were some looks that were just incredible. <laughs> had a fabulous time at the awards. We saw some amazing fashion films, just so incredibly beautiful and artistic, just really taking filmmaking to a whole other level. Then back on the train and heading home back to Los Angeles, my Cinderella night was over, back to a little reality. So I thought I'd just share with you some of the beautiful California scenery. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please subscribe to my videos, and I will talk to you very, very soon. God bless.